lot of you already know, in 2010, my wife and I lost our 14-day-old baby girl to SIDS. On the morning of January 20, my wife woke up to find our little girl not breathing. As you can imagine, immediately panic set in as she began to do anything she could to bring our daughter back to life. Ultimately, all the efforts to restore my daughter's life fell short as we had to let her go. As a parent, there is nothing you won't do to save your child's life. We see the, an example of this in John chapter 4. In this story, we read about a government official who goes to Jesus and pleads with him to heal his dying son. Verses 49 and 50 go like this. It says, The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. The part of this story that I find absolutely amazing is the faith that the royal official had. After all, this royal official initially asked Jesus to come with him. But when Jesus replied, your son will live, the man believed him and left immediately. The man didn't say, uh, how do you know? Or come with me and we'll see together. He just believed and left. This act of instant faith that the royal official shows is inspirational. Because even though I've seen God answer my prayers thousands and thousands of times in my life, I admit that there are still times when I question, will God answer this prayer? It's then that I need this story to remind me that when we have faith in God, we can walk away rejoicing because we know God does answer prayer.